Well, my fellow agents, as most of you know by now, we do have confirmation that Year 6 Season 1 begins tomorrow, Tuesday, June 11th. So in today's video, we are going to go over all of the information we just received from Ubisoft Forward, and as always, answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and we have a ton of information to go over from today's Ubisoft Forward event and as always I will leave a link to this info in the video description down below that way you can check it out anytime you want. Now if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and we are having a giveaway for an xbox series s to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on twitter and the winner will be announced july 4th of this year now the first thing i'd like to show you really quick my fellow agents is the year six roadmap and you can see starting tomorrow that marks the start of year six season one and the hyper focus of this season is going to be the end game that takes us to season two, which has revamped seasons 2.0. And that is where we are going to see a complete and total change to how seasons work. And to be clear, that is not going to begin until season two, which will probably be around October of this year. Now, then we roll into 2025, which is year six, season three. And that is where the big ticket item is, my friends, which is that new story DLC. That is the one thing in the community that we have wanted to see for a very long time. We will finally get that. Now, at this point, I want to go over the details the game did pass along and starting at the top you can see they said the following welcome to year six of tom clancy's the division two as we reflect on the past year we want to express our gratitude for your unwavering support year five was filled with exciting updates and improvements from project resolve to the unexpected story twists in season three now as we embark on year six we are thrilled to unveil what's in store for our dedicated agents year six is a year of transformation as we gear up to deliver even more thrilling content to enhance your gaming experience with three seasons planned each bringing fundamental changes to the end game and our seasonal model we are committed to taking the game to new heights of accessibility and engagement they finish off the introduction by saying the first season of Year 6, First Rogue, kicks off on June 11th. Aaron Keener will make a return to Washington, D.C., and we invite you to embark on a dangerous journey to uncover his true intentions. Learn more about the new gear available for Season Pass owners in our Year 6 Season 1 First Rogue patch notes. Now, I am not going to go over those details in this video, but I promise to make a follow-up to this one as quick as I can. Now they did say that Year 6 Season 1 is going to be dedicated to the endgame. The Division 2 endgame offers a wealth of content providing hundreds of hours of gameplay. Acknowledging that some players did not have access to this content, we are excited to announce that in Year 6 we plan on making endgame accessible to all Division 2 players. Our goal is to bring Division 2 players up to level 40, ensuring that everyone can fully enjoy new content we are developing. With the start of Year 6 Season 1, players can now reach level 40 without owning Warlords of New York expansion and get access to past and future endgame content activities such as incursions season manhunts countdowns and raids previously available to only warlords of new york owners are now accessible at level 40 for all division 2 players this change benefits all players ensuring a level playing field in terms of content access players who did not own warlords can now experience and enjoy the true endgame while players who were already there will witness the matchmaking queues filling up with new players and a new life taking over in the social aspect of the game now i'm really curious to see what type of an impact this can actually have on the current player count i guess we're going to see in the next few weeks my fellow agents and as always if you have any other questions in regard to this topic please let me know and i will do my best to get back to you as quick as i can now that is going to take us to one of the biggest changes we have ever seen in the game and that is with seasons 2.0 to be clear we are not going to see that until year six season two which will be at one point in october but you can see the description is as follows seasons were introduced to the division two in march of 2020 with the release of warlords of new york they have become a key aspect of the end game yielding positive reactions out of strengthened player engagement However, after four years, we believe that the current model is ready to evolve to meet our community's growing needs and expectations. We have gained valuable insights into what works and what doesn't, and with each new season, it has become a bit harder to bring novelty and surprises. To prepare for the game's future, we needed to reevaluate our season model, update it, and equip ourselves with the right tools to make each season truly unique. Seasons 2.0 will offer an exciting mix of new gameplay elements, new story, and rewards, all presented in a fresh way that allows for greater 
greater creativity and surprise. At the core of this new model is a major shift, the introduction of seasonal characters. By focusing the season experience on a new character exclusively, we can create something unique with each season and much more control over general balancing and player experience without being constrained by the legacy of each individual existing character. Each season is meant to be experienced from level 1, featuring a fully revamped and accelerated progression design to swiftly guide players to the end game while gradually introducing all game mechanics to prepare them for level 40. Seasons will offer a flexible structure allowing players to progress in many ways, but also provide clear guidance with series of objectives and projects to accompany players through their progression journey. They finish off this section by saying to create and maintain an ever fresh experience, each season will introduce a new set of gameplay modifiers enabling new play styles and challenges that will require a reevaluation of established strategies and builds. At the end of each season, all of your hard-earned XP and rewards will be transferred to your main characters, while seasonal characters will be added to your roster. Next, we're going to talk about Manhunts 2.0, and you can see Manhunts have also undergone a transformation in Year 6, with the introduction of weekly scouts that offer engaging activities for seasonal characters. With scouts, the Manhunt story will now progress weekly instead of monthly, offering an additional activity to engage in without disrupting your seasonal progression. As always, the Manhunt events will conclude with a new climax mission, but with a twist, the introduction of a new difficulty level called Master. The Master difficulty will be available on top of the existing climax mission difficulties, providing a challenging gameplay experience tailored for a team of four players. Now, in my opinion, and once again, please let me know your thoughts, but I happen to love the idea that the seasonal progress is going to be on a weekly basis, not monthly, because what would happen? is people would jump into the game when a new you know target became available you'd rip through that in like what like two three hours depending on what difficulty you chose and then unfortunately most players just bail from the game until the next target becomes available so i really think that this change is going to keep people much more engaged with the game on a more consistent basis which is a very good thing for the franchise now secondly I happen to be a huge fan of seasonal characters, and for those of you out there like myself who are fans of Diablo, you know exactly how this works. Now, Like many of you out there, I do have a lot of questions on how it's going to work for this game. And obviously, once I have any more information in regard to that, I promise to bring it to you right away. Next, my friends, we're going to talk about player expression, and you can see the game says the following. Later in the year, we are thrilled to introduce an array of enhanced player customization features. The Division 2 offers a wide range of options to customize your character, to enhance your experience, we are excited to introduce a streamlined customization flow. This new approach will consolidate all customization features into a single user-friendly interface, simplifying the process of personalizing your character to suit your style and making it more enjoyable. Furthermore, we are exploring new ways to showcase your character in existing menus and allow you to proudly display your achievements. Now, when I look at this, it seems like we are going to see a major change in regard to customization, what the UI system is going to look like, and I'm all for that, my fellow agents. I think that is a very good thing. Last but not least, we have the DLC, and you can see they say. And finally, Year 6 will culminate in a new story DLC that takes players back to where it all began, Brooklyn, New York. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting new chapter in the world of The Division 2. Get ready to dive into the action, uncover new mysteries, and experience the thrill of Year 6 in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Let's make this year one to remember. Now, in my opinion, and once again, please let me know your thoughts. I happen to feel pretty damn good about the information we received today, and the main reason for that is because we know what the roadmap is going to look like moving forward, and the game has a tangible plan to achieve that. Now, obviously, as players of the division, we have been burned by roadmaps before. I am cautiously optimistic about this one. It seems like the timeline can actually be adhered to. And of course, my fellow agents, I promise to keep you posted on any other information I receive. That is going to do it for this video. As always, I want to thank you all for your amazing continued support of this channel. And one thing I want to mention really quick is yes, you are going to see me cover other games here at the channel, but the bottom line is this, I will never stop playing this game. I absolutely love it. We are a family here. Thank you once again for the privilege of your time, and as I mentioned at the end of every one of these, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.